bond that comes from God to a mother when she gives birth. A mother's love is forever strong, never changing, for all time. And when her children need her most, a mother's love will shine. God bless the special mothers. God bless them, everyone, for all the tears and heartaches and for all the special work they've done. When her day on earth are over, a mother's love lives on through many generations with God's blessings on each one. Be thankful for our mothers, for they love with a higher love from the power God has given and the strength from above. The joy of a mother is measured in the heart, and her love will live in your heart forever. Sister Marlowe, the goodness you gave as a mother to the church family will return to you in abundance. Your gift will return to you in full and overflowing measure. The faith and trust you live by will become a source of joy. A woman who fears and reverence God shall be greatly praised. The love you have shown every day will be appreciated for a lifetime. All her children will rise up and call her blessed. Thank you all very, very much. You're, you're a very special family. I was thinking as Sister Phyllis was talking of um, you know, I'm the youngest of 14, and two of my sisters were married to ministers, so I said that would never happen to me. And my husband had resigned from pastorate when we were, uh, when he asked me to marry him, and one of the things is no more, no more minister. Okay, okay, no, okay. Very good. So, uh, <laughs> as you know, when he uh, resigned from his pastorate, of course, he lost his classification, and that was in the days of the draft, and he was drafted into the military. But it's amazing how the Lord works. Yes, yes. It is. While he was there, as some of you have heard him share, he had dreams, and he had miracles that happened to witness to him that he was supposed to come here. Now, when he was in the military, I went back to live with my mother, and we were watching the news one evening, and they were showing where a hurricane had skirted Anna Maria, you know, in parts of Bradenton. And I said, well, thank the Lord, that's one place I'll never live. <laughs> and <laughs> she never said that. <laughs> anyway, and so while he was in the military, he, he received dreams and miracles, uh, as I said, to let him know that we were to come here. But when the Lord calls you, uh, I fully believe when the Lord calls a man, he calls his wife also. Because he has to, I think, for her to share in his work and to, uh, to uh, I don't want to say play the part, but to, uh, to fill the part of a minister's wife. And I have had the most wonderful life as I said, I'm the youngest of 14. My mother's house was always like Grand Central Station. A few of us would get together and it would be a hundred, you know, and that was great. When I came here, I knew my husband. That was it. So uh, it was so wonderful 
when the Lord brought family in. And now then, we're all family, aren't we? Yeah. We're, we're bone of each other's bone and flesh of each other's flesh. And the Lord is wonderful. Amen. And thank you. He has wonderful people. Thank you all so very, very much. Hallelujah.